Good morning and welcome to my morning rant. We have been looking at um, this spiritual warfare that we are in. I actually focus on the first aspect of that warfare, which is our flesh, and we went through that. And we know that how we would conquer or um, not walk in the flesh, we studied that as well. Um, we talked about what the... Um, the, the fruits of the Spirit is, and basically um, the Bible tells us and shows us that if we walk in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We talked about what those are and um, what their manifestation are. We talked about the responsibility of putting on and putting off so that we can't blame God. We talked about uh, us, this new creature, we are dead to sin so that you and I have the power and the will to exercise um, our obedience to God and not disobedience. And that's how the first Adam fell. And it was through um, obedience that the second Adam triumphed. So now we're going to look at the world. This is one of our um, one of the, the entities that we have to keep an eye on because we are in it but not of it. And there are certain principles by which they are governed by. But the Bible tells us that you and I have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness. But um, that old lifestyle through the flesh is still available for us to, to live. Uh, John seventeen fourteen. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So we see our relationship as to how the world feels about you and I, those that are um, are part of the body of Christ, those that are the true believer, believers. And so we see that this relationship is uh, spelled out, and uh, according to the word, it says that they hate us simply because Jesus Christ, our God and our Lord and our Master, they hated Him too. And so we know that uh, if they hate Him, and they're going to hate us because we are of the same body, we are of the same kingdom. So we know that this world basically consists of um, the uh, uh, the entities that were uh, as uh, Lucifer he caused this uh, earth to fall and corrupted uh, this earth. Um, actually, it was Adam's disobedience that created a different creature. And that creature was the man of sinful, the spirit of mankind became corrupt. And so when God uh, have to restore, we have to be born again, meaning that we died once um, and that we have to be born again. And that is the spirit of the man has to be a brand new spirit and that's what god did for you and i so we know that this uh, er, uh this earth they are programming their citizens to behave certain ways and we know that um, apart from the, uh the the flesh and the power of that flesh and we saw what those manifestations were uh, we know that this world has also um, contribute to the programming of their citizens, and they ought to, because it's uh, you know that's what he has to do with his citizens. And so God also is uh, asking and and require that we be uh, programmed, if you will, by His uh, principles. That's why He states, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." So the Bible tells us that you and I, um, we have. Uh, uh, been quickened we are sin has no dominion over us so that means those that are in the world sin have dominion um over them ephesians 2 1 3 and you have been quickened who were dead in trespass and sin where in time past you walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of power of the air the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience and we know that children of disobedience came forth because of adam's disobedience and so they are labeled the children of disobedience which we were a part of we are no longer part of that but we see that um lucifer he is the prince of this air there's other scripture that says he's the god of this world and that prince of the air is really a powerful thing because um he uses the air the um you want to talk about televisions and radios and all of the things that travel by air 
uses those program his children and to make sure that he keeps in line and uh, so that they can continue to do his work and to be, um, uh, you know, to fail provide all of their uh, natural needs. But these folks don't understand that you and I are all spirit. We are spirit and deposited into this human body and the human body um, uh, allows us to have this human experience, but we are spirits. And most people live from the physical aspect of life and not from the spiritual. And uh, that's the shame. And that's where all personal growth and all that stuff he talks about because they are now reconnecting the spiritual aspects of who they are. You know that the world teaches so many things uh, contrary to the Word of God. Uh, we know that uh, this particular kingdom kingdom of darkness or the world it teaches uh many different things uh that sin is uh sin is good and all of the different things that they talk about you know do whatever pleases you and all of that good stuff the bible teaches us differently it tells us that uh, we are um, children of god we ought to be respectful of each other we ought to love each other and all of those things but these guys it's something different an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth as you say so um the condition of this world as we see it's corrupt and it's based on lies and fear it's governed by all of those type um uh things it's dominated by flesh it's dominated by sin and they teach all kinds of crazy stuff i know they um they teach that uh, you and i evolved from apes and uh all kinds of uh i mean just absolutely sick stuff you and i could not have been evolved from apes absolutely maddening that um, but the bible tells us why they do that because it gives them a name um, and uh, it says they're foolish men they're ignorant let's take you to the scripture and show you what the bible says about um, mankind and the flesh and all those things so first corinthians 15 is an excellent um, chapter to go in there and look and see that these men First, the Bible says you got to believe that God is. And these guys uh, don't believe that God is God. He says you have to come by faith. They think you have to come by works. And um, uh, the wisdom in that is absolutely crazy because think about it. If someone is physically unable to do certain things or can't do that because of economic status, they can then claim things when they stand before God. So God doesn't want that. So he makes it as simple as ever. He makes that you have to come by faith. Everyone, rich, poor, blind, uh, deaf, dumb, Everybody got to come by faith. So faith is the equalizer. And a lot of these men in their wisdom, in their worldly wisdom, have gone nuts. But their teaching is contrary to the word of God. So let's take a look at these people and um, just dispel this nonsense about uh, um, you and I coming from apes. But God give it, it a body, even as it pleased him. And to teach each seed of its own, of its own, and he's talking about the the uh, people being raised to, uh, from the dead and stuff like that. And he's discussing this th subject with the church, and he's telling them, "Look, God, in His original intent, He gave the trees their own body. Everybody has their own body." But let's go on and see. He says, "All flesh is not the same, but there is one flesh for men, and another flesh of beasts, and another flesh." of birds and another flesh of fishes these are also uh, they are also celestial bodies he's talking about different types of bodies and uh, bodies of the uh, terrestrial and uh, he talks about celestial ones are are the and the terrestrial ones he talks about the sun the glory of the sun the moon and the stars and all of all these different things have different bodies and so you and I have different flesh. All flesh is not the same. We did not and do not have the same flesh as an ape. We did not evolve from the flesh of an ape. Man has its own flesh. The ape has its own flesh. This was one of the sins of the Nephilim back in the day, the days of Noah. Um, the Bible talks about if you study the book of uh, Enoch and stuff like that, you will see. And when you look at the book of Joshua, it talks about these guys the Nephilim's mixing flesh and um, creating all of these different creatures that existed in um, those days. It talks about um, them, uh, the Manotaurs and all of those things. I believe those animals and those creatures are real. You got to understand these guys, the angels, when they come from 
they saw creatures in heaven. And so when, because the Bible talks of all kinds of creatures within the heavenly before the throne of God and stuff like that. So they came from this place. And so when they came here, and, um, uh, uh, they started to mingle with uh, uh, and create all the different uh, uh, animals and breeds and all that stuff. Go back. Uh, and study, you will see that one of those creatures that created back in the days of the Nephilim was the donkey, and the donkey is still here. So um, there's other creatures that were created by them, and uh, these were the beasts and the, all of the different things, the demons and, and evil spirits. All of these things came as a result of these guys mixing tells us, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be. And so this is another aspect in our time, that is, you're going to see scientists will start cloning and making different things and putting stuff together, just as it was in the days of Noah. So uh, we will see the resurgence of things like that, the increase of things like that on the planet. And um, it's going to be a fascinating ride, guys, because the Bible tells us that um, the, the, the Earth has never seen anything like it. So as I mentioned to you before, we've had Nephilim, we had um, giants, um, the, uh, the um, Romans, and they call those the uh, Clash of the Titans. Those were the, the first set of the Nephilim. The, Bible talk, uh, the book of Enoch talks about that. And God's judgment upon them was that they would have five years, 500 years to live. And in, uh, Michael's um, assignment was to cause a civil war amongst them, and they started fighting. And the, uh, the book of Enoch said that the angel's punishment was that they would see what took place. And um, they died by um, clashing against each other, the clash of the titans. And that's where the, um, that those are stories. They are all true, I believe, absolutely all of those guys. Hercules and all those guys were all men. Zeus was a man that uh, claimed to be a god, all of those things. Those guys existed. He, um, Hercules actually married one of Abraham's uh, um, family members. So yeah, there's stuff you guys need to know. And don't be ignorant about it. Anyway, um, one of our enemies, as I want to continue, is the world. It tells us that we ought not to love the world. In First John two fifteen uh, through seventeen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of this world and the world passes away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of god abideth for ever and so we see that this particular thing uh, this earth this world is going to be is going to pass we know that they teach all kinds of different philosophies and different things that are corrupt um that are contrary to the word of god and so you and i uh, we have to recognize that it's out there and the bible tells us that warns us that we should not join ourselves with them it talks about that in uh, second corinthians to uh, do not be equally yoked with them second corinthians 6 14 to 18 talks about that it tells us that we are the light of this place. So we, as uh, um, as I mentioned to you, we are in the world, but not of the world. And you and I are not to attach ourselves to them, but we are to uh, we are called to um, seek first the kingdom of God. We are called not to be conformed to these uh, to their ways, their mentality, their their behavior, which is uh, seen in Romans chapter twelve, verses one. Um, and it tells us all uh, one to two. I beseech you, brethren, uh, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, um, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So our responsibility is to begin to study the word and not to let the programming that our we had received from them while we were there the 
the program that we listen to and live from. And you see many of those that are in the church that are still listening that way. And it talks about um, how they behave and people look at them and re recognize them as um, hypocrites. And we also rec recognize them as wolves in sheep clothing. So you and I are responsible to change our speech, uh, change how we, um, how we spend time, how we react, our behavior to walk in love we ought to do all of these things but they, they do different than us and so we uh, one of the enemies that we have is the world and so we just have to be mindful of it but the bible tells us that it's easy guys if we just stay in the spirit and recognize that um this world and all that it has to offer is nothing the scripture says and god just doesn't it doesn't please god and he's not he's not a part of it and if we love the world uh, the love of God is not in us. So we are moving through learning about all these different um, uh, uh, people and wars or whatever, all these uh, uh, things that we have to fight against and be aware of. We know that the flesh is there. I mentioned we are in the spiritual warfare. The, war, the world is there. And then we are going to talk about Lucifer and his gang uh, next. The Bible tells us that he is the God of this world. But guess what? You and I have overcome the world by our faith. The Bible tells us that the just shall live by faith. And it is also commissioning you and I that we walk by faith and not by sight. 